Hi, I'm Eliza from Derivan and today we're going to do some experiments with Derivan inks. By experimenting with your art materials, you get a better understanding of how they work, but you're also getting new ideas that you can put into your artwork. So what we'll be needing today is some Derivan inks. We'll also need a heavy weight um, mixed media paper. I'm using the C White 140 GSM um, cartridge paper. You'll need some masking tape and I'll show you what you're going to do with that in a minute. You'll also need some brushes, some vinegar, some gladra, some salt and some dishwashing liquid. So first things first, we need to tape down the paper. So I'll just show you how to do that. So a trick is to actually take a bit of the tack off the paper by putting it onto your clothes and just taking a bit of that tack off so that it doesn't pull the paper off when you're finished your work. And then lay it down and then just run your nail over that edge where the ink is going to leak through and then now we're ready to go. So the first experiment we're going to do is ink with vinegar. So what you need to do is lay down your ink. And then with a wet brush, just blend those inks across the page. And now just start dropping the vinegar into the wet ink. So you can do little drops, because you get different effects if you use it in different ways. So little drops, but you can also just really lay it on, because you get two different kind of interesting effects in different patterns. Here's one I did earlier that's dried. So you take the masking tape off. See how you've got like a bit of a, you've got a nice mat there around your work. And see what happens. If you're just doing little drops, you get these interesting designs with little squiggly lines on it. And then also when you've laid it on thick over here, it almost looks celestial. So that's what happens when you use ink with vinegar. You can also do it onto canvas. I've done one of these on canvas as well, so you get some interesting effects with that as well. So the next one is ink with glad wrap. So lay your inks down. And then with a wet brush, just take those inks across. And then put the glad wrap on top. So you can either sort of just place it down on and just get the design as it hits the ink or you can stretch it out and get straight lines as well. So the most important thing when you're doing this one is to actually leave it to dry because if you don't, you can see that when you pull the glad wrap off, you don't get much of a reaction. But here's one that has dried. So pull the glad wrap off and you can see that design of where the ink is pulled under the glad wrap. It's actually shiny. Take the masking tape off. And you've almost got a little landscape that you could now work back into. So that's ink with glad wrap. 
Here's one where I've done it on canvas. Now, let's see what happens when you use ink. With salt. So again, we'll lay down your inks. Blend them across. And then sprinkle salt into the wet ink. And again, have a little bit of an experiment. Put it on heavy and then just put it on lightly and then see what happens. So I'll just show you one I've done earlier. So you flick the salt off and you can see where the salt has landed. It's masked the ink, but also what you're also getting this really interesting crystal growth around them as well. And when you get to, um, it's a bit difficult to sort of manipulate sometimes with salt, but if you can get the salt particle just one, you actually get like, some interesting results around that. But also where you've got a bit of a leaf um, loaded, you're also getting some interesting designs there as well. So the last experiment is using inks with dishwashing liquid. So again, wet ink. And then dishwashing liquid. So you can draw a squiggly line into the ink, or you could just try again, just doing little drops. See what happens there. So here's a completed one. So see here where you've got like that's where the wriggly line is and then here's what the dishwashing liquid looks like in little drops. See how you get this lovely halo around where the dishwashing liquid has landed. So I hope you've enjoyed our experiments with um, Derivan inks and I hope that you go away and do some experiments of your own. If you need any more information, go to our website. Thank you. Bye.